hello. The rooster says hello too. For some reason, they're all yelling this afternoon. That's just how it is sometimes. <laughs> well, we have a lovely new book to share today and it's called How Frogmouth Found Her Home. Frogmouth is an owl and it's by the wonderful writer and illustrator from the Pilbara, which is way up in far Western Australia. And her name is Amblin Quaymullina. Look at those gorgeous colors she's used. Okay, let's start. On the dawn of the very first day, Grandmother Frogmouth said, we tawny frog mouths will make our home in the trees. All the frog mouths said, yes, grandmother. Mm, wise little owls doing as their grandmother says. Except for one who said, not me. Ooh, she's got spirit, doesn't she? Frog mouth went looking for a home of her own. She tried a kangaroo's pouch. Oh, I think the Joey has something to say about that. A wombat's burrow. I think the wombat's a bit puzzled. And a bat's cave, but nothing felt right. Look at all those bats watching little frog mouth. Then frog mouth looked up at the sun, shining brightly in the sky. Oh, you're very pretty, sun, she said. Can I live with you? Ha ha, only if you can catch me, sun smiled. Ooh. That's a challenge. Frogmouth chased Sun across the sky, but before she could catch him, Sun disappeared. And there he is, sinking down below the country in the water, and poor little Frogmouth speeding on ahead trying to catch up. In the new darkness, some of the animals were confused. Hearing the beat of Frogmouth's wings overhead, they called out to her. Help, said one. I have scales like a fish, but I can't breathe underwater. What am I? I am long like a tree trunk, called another but I'm not very good at standing still. I am round and hard like a stone, said a third, but I don't want to be stuck on the sand all day. Can you see the three animals? One's in the water with its head popping out. <gasps> One thinks it's a tree. And there's one down there in the sand. Can you guess what they are? I wonder if Frogmouth knows. Frogmouth had seen creatures like these on her travels. She told them, you're a blue tongued lizard, not a fish. Your home is on the land. Have you seen blue tongues? Ooh, they're great. I love seeing them in the garden. You're a freshwater crocodile, not a tree. Your home is in the river. I've never seen a crocodile and I'm quite glad about that. And you are a loggerhead turtle, not a rock. And your home is in the ocean. There you go. Good thing Frogmouth knows. Thanks, Frogmouth, said Blue Tongue Lizard. 
freshwater crocodile and loggerhead turtle. Perhaps you can help me, said Frogmouth. I'm looking for Sun. Did anybody see where he went? Blue Tongue Lizard said, I saw Sun disappear behind a big hill. Freshwater Crocodile said, I saw him sink into the ocean. But Loggerhead Turtle shook his head. Mm -mm. The ocean tells me that Sun's real home is in the sky. Don't you love Amberlynn's pictures of the sun? Oh, they just radiate so much warmth and light. That sneaky sun, Frogmouth thought. Oh, he must be so far up in the sky that I can't see him from here. So Frogmouth soared higher and higher and higher until she found a beautiful glowing light. Hello, said Frogmouth. Are you Sun? I am Moon, said the light. Sun is my brother who watches over day. I watch over the night. Frogmouth felt sad. Oh, Sun promised I could live with him, but I'm afraid I'll be chasing him forever. Moon smiled. Mm. I've been watching you help the other animals, little frog mouth. You're not needed in the day when they can see the way clearly. Why don't you stay with me? Look at that. Boy, she's found a special place to call home. So Frogmouth went to live with the moon and became the first star. There she is. You might see her tonight if you go out and have a look. When Grandmother Frogmouth saw the Frogmouth star, she said, We tawny owls must sleep in the day and wake in the night. We will never be lost in the dark because there is a light in the sky that will always show us the way home. It's their own very special frog mouth light, isn't it? The end. And Amblin Kwamalana is from the Balgu and Jamu peoples of the Pilbara region of Western Australia. They're the first peoples of that land. And this is one of their beautiful creation stories that tell the real story of our country. Do you know, I have frog, uh, not frogs, owls around here that make a barking noise like little dogs. And I thought they were little dogs, little dogs who I'd never seen before, and especially not during the day. But then I found out on this wonderful program on Radio National called Off Track, which is all about Australian animals and birds, about the owls that bark. You should have a listen to it. It's got lots of good sounds of Australian animals. And we should look out for some more books about the animals that live here in Australia and the people of Australia. Thank you for listening. See you later.